Hey guys. Okay, so I'm still kind of freaking out here. Um, I just want to let you guys know, listen, I, my heart is never to deceive one person. I love Jesus so much and all I just want people to be saved. Okay, so I will totally admit if, if this doesn't come true, and I believe in my heart it will because he literally gave me the message with the scriptures. But guys, please pray for me. I will be devastated if this doesn't come true because I 100% believe the last four weeks I've been hearing nothing but from the Lord. And now I will literally question everything. And I'm just not sure if my heart can take it. I'm so scared, you guys. It took so much childlike faith to post this, what I heard today, okay? And then I just, so I Googled it, okay? It happened, I'll tell, explain it. So the Lord, I was watching this video from one of the followers I follow on TikTok, and he was talking about February 15th, the Hebrew calendar. It's called Tu Bishavat or whatever, is a Jewish holiday occurring on the 15th day of the Hebrew month of Shevet. It is called Rosh Hashanah, literally New Year of Trees. Date is Sunday the 5th, 2023 through Monday, February 6th, 2023. The fruits that ripened from Tu Shavat on were counted for the following, the following year's tithes. Then I just Googled, guys, there is a full moon on February 5th. And he told me in previous videos to look at the moon, guys. This cannot just be a coincidence. Okay, so I truly believe Jesus is, is rapturing his elect. And I know there's a lot of people who do not believe in the preacher rapture. But he showed me in my previous videos at the Philadelphia church, the ones that have literally laid down their idols, laid down their lives for him and are walking in the spirit of Christ because the spirit leads to life and the flesh leads to death. You cannot not be just continuing to sin over and over again. And, you know, if you repent, he will believe in you. He there's no works to salvation, guys. But you have to be under him and you have to 100% fully trust in Jesus. And guys, you don't understand, okay? This takes so much faith to, to tell the whole world that I've been hearing from him and his messages. And it will destroy me. It will destroy my heart if I find out that I've been deceived. Because I would never, ever want to deceive anyone. It's just not my heart. Anyone who knows me knows that it's not my heart. Okay, so I've, I've, I've had so many people say I'm false. I've had so many people with their biblical doctrines, you know, hit me with scriptures and, and all that stuff. And guys, I don't know a lot about the Bible. I just don't, you know, and he chooses his children for other things, you know, different things. But I'm not special, guys. I prayed for Jesus for an entire year and I asked him to pour his spirit out of me. I asked him to baptize me in the fire. I asked him to give me his will. I told him I'd lay down my life for him, country music, whatever he wanted me to do. And anyone who knows me, I've been singing since I was five years old. And that's all I ever wanted to do was sing. And I just didn't want to let it go. I never wanted to let it go. I thought it was just his will and I was supposed to just he was blessing me for it. And then he gave me that rapture dream in 2014, warning me, follow me and you will go up. You know, then he showed my dad dying in 2019 when I was five hours away and Angel took it. So I can't explain any of these things happening and I've never taken medication. I've never done anything. Guys, I, I barely even drink alcohol. I have a drink every once in a while. I mean, I, I feel like Jesus drank wine. I don't know. I, he doesn't convict me for those things because I, I think you're only convicted by something you can't control, which becomes a sin. When the Holy Spirit's convicting you of something then you need to do it. If he's convicting you the Sabbath day, then you need to do it. But he doesn't convict me for the Sabbath day and he hasn't convicted me for my Christmas tree or, or anything like that. So there's no works to salvation. But I do know that we're about to see whether or not I'm true or false because he showed me that his coming for his elect is the Jewish holiday, Rosh Hashanah, which would be somewhere in between the 5th 
and the 6th of 2023. And there's a full moon on the 5th. And then what's crazy is one of the girls from TikTok who follows me messages me and she says, the Lord shook me because she has the same gift as I do. She said, the Lord shook me when I was watching you and she gave me all the, he gave me all these scriptures. And I've had two dreams this week. She said of he's coming this week. So it's not his second coming because he brings all of his holy saints with him, guys. But he showed me in Revelation 4, 1 through 3, John gets caught up in spirit. And he was showing the symbolism of John with the Philadelphia church because there's an open door in the Philadelphia church. And John walks in spirit right before he hears the trumpet. And the Lord has been showing me in all my messages that he'll hear the angels sound the trumpets guys and and we'll hear the trumpets and lately you know the messages literally started four weeks ago now and he has given me one almost every day and now I know why because if this is true this date I'm a watchman but I know what I heard you got to go watch my previous video because the video literally gives a message with all the scriptures he gave me and then I prayed in my head and he gave me six one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, nine confirmation scriptures, guys. I don't know where scriptures are in the Bible. So, and, and I put that in my other video. I can't explain any of this that's happening. And, and I just know that guys, the time is near and I truly 100% believe it in my heart. And if I'm wrong, I will, I will just be so devastated. I will be so devastated. So please pray for me because this takes a lot of strength and faith so much faith um but i love you all and, and and jesus loves you all and he doesn't want anyone to perish not one person to perish so guys literally you just repent you believe in jesus you ask him to come into your life you ask him to pour his spirit out on you you ask him to to make sure you're worthy to go so you're not left behind because tribulation is going to be so hard guys it is going to be no man has ever seen. And the only way after that would be to die for his glory. All right. Please, Holy Spirit people out there, pray on this. Someone give me some confirmation because I'm so nervous right now. I love you. Have a good day.